Long throw in, away then by Roberts. And the shot way over Ray Clements' crossbar. Into the crowd of Tottenham supporters behind the goal. And there's the inspiration of final this season, Johan Cruyff. Now Stevens. What a good ball, finding Galvin. And for Falco. Sending Galvin away. The has been flagging over on the far side. But Tottenham certainly haven't come here purely to defend. Although they have the two-goal buffer from the first leg. Van Til. Cruyff. Beautiful turn. Left Perriman for dead. And then for Hoekstra. Alva Moulin. Support here from Weinstegers. Van Til, Tottenham with almost everybody back. Chance for a shot from Van Til. Brilliant save by Clements. Well, he may be in pain, but my word, he did well there to push that shot from Van Til just round the post. It's a brilliant shot, but what a save. Yeliaskov, Bulgarian. Now Bullet. to work the one two with Trusen didn't quite come off but still Feyenoord coming forward the Moulin Hoekstra what a good ball Weinstekers it was Gullit was going in and Stevens who half cleared it away and Hoekstra over the bar Gary Stevens good ball finding Falco now Perriman. Bit of space here for Archibald. It's Thomas who's gone outside and surely tripped there by Vermeulen. A late lunging tackle. And over trots Glenn Hoddle. He was quite magnificent in the first leg at White Hart Lane and totally outclassed Johan Croy for the first half. Croy gave up following him. Stevens again waiting at the far post. He goes Falco. Magnificent save by the goalkeeper. Mark Falco stealing it. Almost unmarked. The ball crossed it, curled in delightfully. And Falco's had a push round the post. Off go final. Reinsteckers. Got to be taken out there by Roberts. Off goes Falco. He caused Feyenoord a lot of problems in the first leg with his strength and his height. Off goes Galvin. He did too. He scored two goals in that first leg at White Hart Lane. Now he's one top of the corner. Galvin himself will take the kick. Both the central defenders, Stevens and Roberts, have come up for the kick. Wasn't really clear. Archibald again beaten away by the goalkeeper. I think the whistle had gone anyway. A wave of disgust from Archibald. Let's give the goalkeeper credit. It was a marvellous save anyway, but the whistle had already gone. Staffler. Really sure what he wants to do with it. Here's Troost. Good battling back by Tony Galvin. Certainly tremendous commitment for this Tottenham side tonight. Determined to defend their lead. And off goes Glenn Hoddle. And he'll be hoping to do something about increasing it. Lovely pass, superbly weighted. And he's found Archibald. Steve Perriman in a lot of space. Hoddle touching it through. Newton. And Christian has put Tottenham in front on the night. A superbly engineered move by Tottenham. And finished off in style by Chris Newton. Perriman with room. Finding Hoddle. Lovely touch through. And Newton took his time.
past the goalkeeper and Tottenham are ahead on the night and now are three goals in front overall and offside at the other end against final and Jordan Cruyff explaining what should have happened Goes Falco, beaten in the air that time by Nielsen. Perriman nipping in quickly, off goes Galvin. Ball almost breaking for him. The Dutch don't look at all happy at the back. Five minutes then to half time. Still Tottenham a goal in front on the night. And they'll be well pleased with their first half performance. Another chance here, perhaps, then, for Glenn Hoddle to try something. Memories flashing back of the Budapest game not long ago. It took a deflection around the wall and away for a corner. Glenn Hoddle really is full of tricks at these set pieces. And it's causing the final defence all sorts of problems. Now, Van Tittle, the final sweeper. Or Libero, they call him on the continent. Gullit, looking to combine with Hookstra. Is Hookstra now? Cruyff's in the middle. Second chance, Yeliaskov. Touched over the bar by Ray Clements. Yeliaskov, so close then to an equaliser. It's Hookstra's cross in. Good combination. Yeliaskov and then Clements over the bar. So as we approach half time, Einold still looking for this equaliser. They won't have time, the half-time whistle goes. An excellent first half indeed for Tottenham. Coming here tonight, leading 4-2 from the first leg. They've increased that lead with the only goal of the half from Chris Hewton. And they've played very well indeed. Defended well when they've had to, when Johan Cruyff has got things going for Feyenoord. And that hasn't been all that often, and it's been very much Tottenham's half. And leading here at half-time by a goal to nil. So then, away go Tottenham. The impetus of seven wins from their last eight games has certainly served them well so far tonight. And I'm sure the message from Keith Birkenshaw at half-time is keep playing the way you are. Try and order the meantime of made a change. They brought on Peter Hoopman, their leading scorer from last season. The offside flag there raised against Tony Galvin. And Van Til, the sweeper, has gone off. Didn't have the best of halves. So the Dutch have changed their system yet again. And Peter Hoopman is now on the field. To a raucous welcome from the supporters. He's quite a favourite here, but hasn't fitted into the Ewan Cruyff way of playing things. Here's Cruyff now. An explosive burst. And Thomas went with him all the way. But a fine on corner right at the start of the half. Cruyff to take it. Nielsen at the far post. Hooked away though by Hoddle. Cruyff back in again. Stevens, only half clearing. Here now, though, is Archibald. A gullet. He seems to have taken over the sweeper's role from Van Til. Firm tackle then by Nielsen. Nielsen. Moving here for Cruyff. Is Hoopman waiting in the area? But will it reach it? And it almost did. And that could have been a clear cut chance set for final. Is Hoddle. Cut out by a combination of Cruyff and Gullit. There goes Cruyff. Nielsen Rob, and Mabbott now sending Falco away. Archibald calling for it in the middle. Don't think it quite got a touch. And Archibald might feel perhaps that he should have pulled that one back. 
Falco close to a second goal. The move breaking down from Farnoy's point of view it was Mabbott who sent Falco away. You can see Archibald there to the right of the picture, and just too long. Gullit. Hookstra. Positive break here from the Dutch. That took a deflection too, and Clements did well to spot it. It's Cruyff. Shaking off Thomas. Reinstecker is it very hard. And left here with a bit of room. Just touched over again by Clements. I think, in fact, it had gone behind before Clements got a hand to it. I think that's the referee's decision. My word, Ray Clements had to be very alert there. The defenders weren't concentrating too well. Now Hewton. Rocco by Hoekstra. Break on here. Free kick to final. Take it quickly. Cruyff. Now then to Troost. A lot of Feyenoord players forward. Up goes Hoekman. A chance. Off the bar. Yeliaskov. Almost getting the equaliser. It was Troost who floated the ball in. Hoekman climbing well. The bicycle kick didn't work. Stevens and Mabbott couldn't get it away. And Yeli Askoff off the bar. Okay, to Hoddle. Cruyff. Cut out by Stevens. Still final pressing. Just a chance to beat. Into the side netting. And on comes Alan Brazil, a player who's been lacking in confidence in recent weeks and lost his place in the Tottenham side. Let's see what he can do now. Getting a chance here straight away. Brazil with Archibald waiting in the middle. And the first touch was not a confident one. Nielsen up for Cruyff. But he couldn't turn Danny Thomas. Now Mabbott to Hoddle. And Tottenham playing the ball around sweetly. Brazil. Archibald in oceans of space over on the far side. Hoddle's found it. He brought it down superbly too. It just ran away from him. a fine move then by Tottenham. A flick on from Yeliaskov. Certainly hundreds of supporters streaming out of the ground now, the final supporters. Rather dismayed at their team's performance. It's Mabbott with a good ball finding Calvin. Could this be number two? It is. What a marvellous piece of finishing by Tony Galvin. As the final fans stream out of the ground, many of them will have missed that superb ball played through them by Mabbott, splitting the defence wide open. Off goes Galvin, who got two goals in the first leg, and he's got another one tonight. And there are the two scorers together, Chris Hewton and Tony Galvin. Galvin with his fifth goal of the season and his fourth in Europe. And that surely now has put the tie beyond the final. It's all over. A comprehensive win for Tottenham. 2-0 here on the night. 6-2 overall. The goals from Putin in the first half and Galvin in the second. And a fully deserved win by Tottenham. Who really have played splendidly tonight. The final, well, they'll be so disappointed with the way they've played. And it's Tottenham who will be going through to the next round. Well done, Tottenham. 2-0. They won here tonight in final.